Activision is dead to me. So unless you live in a cave, don't care, don't look at news, you are probably aware of all of the chicanery that's going on at Activision Blizzard, or has been going on apparently for quite some time. You have rape allegations, sexual assault, sexual harassment, an employee that went so far as committing suicide because she made the mistake of sharing nude photos with someone she was dating there, and they sent them all over the company. All the while, nothing happened to the employee that did this crap and exposed this woman's pictures and drove her mentally over the edge. Now, this all came to a head after California did an investigation over allegations of sexual harassment, assault, and all the other things, and that came to light in the news. Now, immediately, the internet jumps up and virtue signals. You have boycotts and a lot of things that went on but how committed were these people actually to boycotting? Probably not very much. And let's explain why. So you had people doing like the month of sit-ins and doing nothing on Warcraft. You have people claiming they're not going to buy any more Activision games. Yet once the minute Diablo 2 Resurrected is announced, oh, I've got to buy that. Really? So you were dedicated to boycotting and not doing business with a company that has basically created and encouraged an atmosphere of sexual harassment. If you don't think that's the fact, just look up the Crosby Suite and Activision Blizzard, and you'll see how higher-ups create this environment. From the cubicle crawls where drunken frat boy morons would move from cubicle to cubicle harassing people to openly posting images like the Cosby Room and other kinds of nonsense to the fact that you have executives passing around nude photos of people so that they are driven over the edge. This is not the type of company that anyone that has any type of ethics or morality could support regardless of how much you may have loved those games in the past. Now, let's be honest. I've played Blizzard games for decades. I played the original Diablo, Diablo 2. Those, that was, Diablo 2 was one of the games that I really got my son into gaming with on computer. He loved playing that game. We sat there, he'd play it, I'd be playing it. We had a great time playing these games. Let's be honest, all the crap at Blizzard and Activision can't ruin or taint those memories with me. Those are memories I created with my kids. Those are memories I'll always have. Playing Warcraft, playing Call of Duty, playing Diablo. But what it can do, now that we're aware of it, is tell us this is not a company we should support moving forward. And it doesn't matter that I spent thousands of hours in guild runs in Warcraft hundreds or even thousands of hours across the different Diablo games playing. That doesn't matter because I can't support a company any longer with my money or my time that is doing absolutely nothing to correct this behavior. Now you say, oh, they put in zero tolerance policies and things like that, so they're fixing it. No, no they're not. The CEO of the company, it's come out, he's well aware and ignored these claims of harassment, rape, assault, and everything else. He set that aside. The board of directors has come out and said, we support this guy who ignored claims of rape, assault, and harassment. How can you support a company that from the top down ignores all of these accusations and everything that they've done for the sake of profit. The only reason they're not going to fire the CEO is because he's brought in a lot of money over the years and continues to. And let's face it, Activision Blizzard knows that a large portion of gamers out there, including people watching this, don't give a fuck. They just don't care that this stuff has happened. All they care about is the fun that they're going to have playing a game created by a company 
that is headed by a bunch of unethical monsters. Now, I've had people come in to my stream and ask, when are you going to play Diablo 2 Resurrected? My answer is always, never. Well, I'll play it with you. It doesn't matter. I can't support that company because they're led by a bunch of dirtbags. And I can't have principles and say, fun is more important than those principles. Now, if you're the kind of person that says, having fun is more important than principles, I have to question your sense of ethics to an extent. And I have good friends that I've said to them, I have to question those sen your sense of principles and ethics where you place fun above doing the right thing. And that's what it comes down to. That's why things like the Me Too movement, uh, which is what this is coming out of, and so many other things in the end won't matter until people place their ethics and principles above having fun or their personal enjoyment or convenience. You know what? If you've been one of these people who's posting things about how, how terrible it is on Twitter and the internet about Activision Blizzard, yet you're still playing those games, you're a hypocrite and you need to stop supporting that company. Until that time, stop virtue signaling and start doing something about it. Start showing that your principles actually matter to you. Start being responsible and force companies to change. And you can do it with your wallet. If you don't give them money and buy their games, they're going to end up saying, you know what? we got to fire this board and we got to fire that motherfucker because it's affecting our bottom line. It's affecting our earnings per share. And stockholders are the only people that really matter to companies like this. Gamers that come out and say, I'm against this, they don't matter to this company unless they all get together and stop giving money to that company. So until that time that you actually step up to the plate, stop playing games produced by companies that are known to encourage sexual harassment, rape, roofing people in the Cosby suite, and being absolute heinous individuals until you stop supporting those people, they're going to keep doing what they're doing, and the companies are not going to make change. Stop spending money on these games and stop rewarding scum for being scum just because they also happen to produce a product that you like. Show that you have some principles and do something about it. Anyway, that's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe down below. Hell, even if you disagree, feel free to comment. It increases my stats anyway. And we'll see you next time.